the channel thank you so much for joining um okay in this video i'm going to be sharing part three of my complete um coloring book collection and my completed pages um before we get started um i was going to do the the little cubby that has my um my hardback books in from Maria Trolle and Hannah Carlson. However, I did very, very recently do um, my complete Hannah Carlson collection with my completed pages. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is, depending on time, I will add on the Maria Trolle books to this video. Um, and then I can tick that cubby off as done as well. I hope that makes sense. Um, but yeah, without further ado, and um, enough jibber jabber, let's get started. Okay, so the first book is my beloved Jasmine Beckett Griffith um, fantasy art adventure colouring book. Um, I haven't coloured in her books for such a long time and um, that's a real shame because she's one of my favourite artists. I absolutely adore her artwork. Um, so yeah, this is her first, her first book. As you can see, lots and lots of gorgeous pages. Got a whip there. This one, the whispered word Lenore. So that's that one. Then I have the um, Halloween coloring book, um, a spine tingling fantasy art adventure, again by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. one this was a whip for so long and then i finished it last year i believe in 2021 so yeah i'm really pleased with how she turned out really happy with that one that one little cutie patootie this is a whip so this is all just um, a marker base at the moment um, but yeah I need, to, I need to come back to this one so there's that one and this was a gift from the beautiful Kristen then I have the um, Mermaid's colouring book. This is a replacement um, because I epically messed up the first one. But it's something I am trying to get out of. You know, I'm trying to get out of replacing books and things. I was having this conversation with them um, with the beautiful Zoe the other night. So okay, so this one. Whoops. This was a buddy colour with my gorgeous friend Brianna. Um, and I smudged some of the ink tents up here on her forehead, so I ended up just putting sparkles over it. So, yeah, there's that one. And this one. And then I have the Alice in Wonderland um, Jasmine Beckett Griffith colouring book. I think I've coloured a few and then I've got a few whips in here as well. So this one. 
this was a buddy colour with my incredible best friend Tess. Um, and yeah, I'm really pleased with um, with how this one turned out. And I used a sparkly green washi tape for the border. Looks like some of the ink has uh, rubbed off or transferred there, but that's all right. That's a whip. I didn't like how I had put the marker base colour on her hair um, or the, the deer. So, uh, yeah. Maybe a long time before I come back to that one. <laughs> and this one, I think this was started in a live stream, I believe. Um, Alice in Monet's Water Lilies. There we go. Um, and I was using my ink tents for the background and trying to go on like some of the colours that's in that amazing painting by Claude Monet. Um, but yeah, it was kind of that was a labour of love in itself. Um, but I want to finish basing the background and then go in with um, pencils, maybe my polychromos, I think, and um, and you know sort of make the colours a little bit richer and. And things like that but yeah I'd like to get back to this one this book is gorgeous so pretty this one this was the first page in here that I completed and um yeah I like how that one turned out So that's uh, Alice in Wonderland. Okay, now we're moving on to my eerie books. Um, so we have Romantic Country. This is the first book in the series. And again, like I said, this is by Eerie. And the incredible thing about this is not only her artwork absolutely beautiful but she draws her work using toothpicks and ink I just find that like mind-boggling um, that is just incredible such an amazing talent um, yeah her books are just they are stunning really are beautiful and um, I've actually got a buddy colour coming up this month with um, with my gorgeous friend Zoe there's this one. I had so much fun with this one. Um, I used my Black Widow pencils. Um, there's some fine liner. There's like a really ridiculously inexpensive watercolour. So yeah, this one was um, that was a lot of fun. This one was um, Halloween 2021. I coloured this one. Really like how that turned out. I was very pleased with that page. Not so much by the distress ink that I've sort of smudged here and some of the stickles glitter gel as well, but that's all right. Really beautiful. This one. I can't remember now what page it was that um Zoe and I are doing, but uh yeah, we're gonna be buddy colouring in here. But this month, so you will see that hopefully in my March completed pages. Then we have Romantic Country, The Second Tale, again by Eerie. Coloured a couple in this one as well. Got this big double page spread. This was a whip for a long time as well. And then I feel like I really messed up the background with the Distress Ink. It's sort of smeared here and just, oh yeah, it was a hot mess. I should have left well alone. But here we go. Um, got 
some really beautiful Halloween pages in here. Oh, gorgeous. This one, I was really pleased with how she turned out as well. She's got the um, Calero pearl colours, watercolour there on her wings. So it just looks sort of like a like an ivory colour like that. But then you turn it and you get that lilac shift, which is just absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, I really like that one. And I put a little transfer here. Have a beautiful day. So, yeah, there's that one. Okay, yeah, this is a whip as well. I think I started this one last Christmas using my castle art pencils but um yeah good job I've got colours and things written down because I wouldn't have a clue <laughs> so yeah there's that one next I have Romantic Country the Third Tale Um, and this is the uh, Korean edition, I think. This one. I love the paper in this. It's gorgeous. Okay, so these were both buddy colours with my best friend Tess. This was the first page I coloured in the book. This one. So pleased with how it turned out. Yeah, really happy with that one. And then um, I wanted to do this one as well and sort of carry some of the colours over from here onto here. And um, yeah, I really had a lot of fun with that. I just feel like I messed it up with the background. The, um, yeah, the Arteza acrylic paint just wasn't, it wasn't great. It wasn't doing a very good job. But um, there you go. There you go. I had to put quite a few, quite a few layers on that one, but overall I like it. Is that all I've done? Yeah. Oh no. And this one. This was a buddy colour. Um, I believe last year or maybe even the year before. I think this might have been twenty twenty buddy colour with um with Zoe from Addicted to Colouring. Bless her. Yeah, we've done quite a lot of buddy colours together. Um, I think Zoe and um, Tess are who I buddy colour with the most. And I really appreciate it. It's always fun buddy colouring, and especially when it's with you know your, your closest friends as well. It's lovely. So there's that one. Then um, I have the World Heritage. I think, is this the World Heritage one? Yeah, it is. So I have a whip here in the back, and it is this one. And it bothers me because I really don't like it. <laughs> I've written down, you know, what I've used and, and like colours and things for the shading so I can finish it off, but this has really put me off coming back to the book to be honest it sounds silly but if I've sort of done something in a book that I really don't like and I really feel I screwed it up it will put me off going back and colouring in that book I can't explain it it's really strange but um it it really weighs heavily with my anxiety as well so yeah it's uh it's a, it's a strange one it's a strange one but this is beautiful this book I love that the Sahara one it's so pretty okay this was the first page I coloured in here this is Emma's tea room and I was requested to colour this page. I cannot remember for the life of me who requested it. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, this was a request. And um, I was really, really pleased. 
I used ink tents, um, Arteza coloured pencils. I used all sorts, and um, yeah, I had a lot of fun. And as you can see, I put clear jelly roll glaze here in the the glass on the door, on the window, and the plant pots. I don't know if you can pick that up. I hope you can. So yeah. So there's that one. I haven't done anything else in here. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful book. And I have the um, fairy tales. Is this around the world fairy tales? I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I know this is the fairy tale book. She has got a new book out as well, which I'm desperate to get my grubby little paws on. And I think that is um, sort of fairy tales and uh, stories and things, I think. That one. Three little pigs. I've coloured two pages in here and I recently started a third but yeah the third has kind of come to a bit of a standstill because I'm just not not feeling how it's uh how it's turning out at the moment this one sleeping beauty I've based it with water-based markers and then I want to go in and sort of do all the shading and definition and stuff but yeah i think i just need to keep going with it and i think once i start adding the pencil shading i will like it a lot better but at the moment no it's not my favorite um but i did do these two and i, co I was coloring these at the same time um when i received the book so yeah these are my cinderella pages love this one really happy with how she turned out i chose to sort of concentrate on the pictures themselves and then i left the the leaves and flowers around the borders quite plain but now i'm looking at it and thinking i, I would actually quite like to shade it i think but i'm i'm leaving it i'm leaving it because at the time that was what i wanted was to leave those plain and just have these as like the, the focal point you know and there's this one so, yeah, really happy with how she turned out. Okay, so the um, last eerie book I have is this one. And I purchased this one thinking it was the World Heritage book. And then when I realised it wasn't, I had to go back on to Etsy and um, get the get the proper one. Um, so this is one of the um, Tracing Around the World books. So you've got the really pale line art. And the idea is that you sort of, you trace over it. Or, you know, just sort of colour it as is. So that the line work doesn't really show very much. This is a coloured example in the page. I, I didn't colour that. I was sort of in here. So, yeah, it might be difficult for you to see the images on here. I do have a whip. Um, I was actually really enjoying it. And then I put the pencils away. I didn't keep a note of what colours I was using. And, yeah, I've sort of not come back to it. It was this one with the tulips. So, as you can see, I have outlined everything with fine liner. And then I started shading and i actually really liked how it was looking um but i'm sure you know i can just do like a three pencil blend again with some other like red orange yellow pencils um but yeah i i actually at first when i heard about these uh that you sort of you know you go around the outline and stuff i was a bit like uh, I, don't, I don't know if that's my thing you know um so yeah i didn't sort of rush to buy them but um actually yeah i really enjoyed it it was so relaxing and to have the artwork already there for you and then you can sort of <clears throat> excuse me use your creativity to do with it as you want you know whether you want to do the outlines or not it's entirely up to you and i actually really like it and i would be really interested in getting the other two is it two or three? I don't. I can't remember. But yeah, the other ones to go with 
to go with this but I think I need to you know show my eerie books some more love first before I even think about um before I even think about that because I have whittled down my collection a lot um very recently um as I've mentioned in a previous few videos um I I cut down my collection by about 40 to 50 books. So I'm trying to be really mindful now as to which books I accept into my collection. Um, but once, you know, it's only because storage is a big issue for us at the moment. But once we're in the master bedroom um, and we've got, you know, I've, I've got um, like a, a big bookcase or some shelves, um, you know, it it will be easier um, but until then, and to be honest, actually, yeah, I think it will be a lot better once we're in the master bedroom. Um, I'm hoping to get us some really nice, you know, sturdy bookcases, um, some shelves, um, just to sort of organise my books a bit better. I mean, they're organised as best as I can do them with this teeny tiny space at the moment. Um, so yeah, the next book is Circle of Life. This is by Mel Pemeni Chatsapanajitu. I have two copies of this one. I think the other one's behind me actually. Um, yes it is. Okay, so this is my, um, my first copy coloured a few in here okay so there's this one gorgeous really like how that turned out I started this one um, when the lovely Debbie from Colour Me Stress Free was um, doing this as a colour along and I just sort of I, I don't know, I came to a standstill, um, like, for colours when it came to his, his, um, his fins, they're not called fins, are they? You, you know, these, and his head, um, yeah, and I just didn't come back to it, but I love how that one's turning out, so, yeah, I need to, need to finish that one. There was a buddy colour in here. And I just feel like I really, really messed it up. Um, this one. Um, I like the sunflower. I like how that turned out. I like the insects. And I like the plants. Um, I hate the fact that I put loose glitter around them. Um, I didn't have my quickie glue pens at the time. So I was trying to apply loose glitter with my Extreme Glitter Mod Podge. And... Um, it, yeah it wasn't great I didn't know what you know what colors to do in these so I just yeah I, I don't like those at all and I didn't know what the design was sort of here in these sections that I've now blacked out it just didn't I don't know it just didn't make sense to me I was getting really confused I just this was a labor of love it really was I, I struggled with this page so much um, but you know it's, it's done it's done um, this one I started and then for some reason I thought do you know what I'm gonna just go in with pen for the tops of the trees no <laughs> the rest of it was all Prismacolor pencils and I was loving how this was turning out and then yeah I've gone in with too dark a color I didn't want the trees to be this dark um but you know, maybe I can come back and fix it. And then the other one I coloured was this one. The nameplate page. Or sorry, the title page. Um, and this was a gift from my wonderful friend Kristen. So Kristen, Christine. I'm not sure how I say it. I'm I'm really sorry if I'm butchering your name, sweetheart, if you're watching this video. But um yeah. That was the title page. Here is my second copy. Myself and my best friend Tess are actually going to buddy colour the whole book together. Um, where's the ones I've done right? Okay, so this one, 
I thought there was one further. Oh no, maybe not. So I just completed this one very recently. So this was in my February completed pages. I'm so happy with how that turned out. Love the stickles on the water. It just really adds something quite magical to the page, I feel. It might sound a bit silly, but yeah. Love how that one turned out. Um, I have done another one. I've got this one flagged because um, Tess and I are doing this page now. This one. So I used um, glitter nail polish on the moon, <laughs> believe it or not. It's clear with like turquoise glitter. So, and then I used my Clearo um, Pearl Colours for the, the smoke there coming out of the chimney and behind the mountains. So, yeah, that's the pages in that one. Um, okay, next we have Menuet de Bonheur. This one and the Rhapsody in the Forest. They were the books that got ruined by the cats the first time round so these are now my replacements honestly the cats have cost me a small fortune in replacing stuff so this is a whip at the moment i was looking to see where this page was the other day so let me flag that one i'll keep this book out actually yeah i started this one uh, about two weeks ago two three weeks ago um I believe I was using my Prismacolor pencils, I think. Hi, Maddie. Hello. <laughs> Just heard like a noise behind me and then he started purring, bless him. So, yeah, absolutely stunning books. They're incredible. So I'm, I'm so happy that I now have replacements for them. So there's that one. And then um, with my birthday money, very, very recently, I replaced the Rhapsody in the Forest. So this hasn't got anything coloured in it, but I can't wait. I want to um, colour some like, Easter kind of vibe pictures. So I need to go through my collection and see what uh see what jumps out yeah lovely so there's that one so next are my camilla de Arico books so we have the pop manga coloring book i haven't colored much in these at first, I just wasn't sure how to approach this sketchy style, but now it's like, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't bother me. I'm just I'm happy to sort of just jump in. So we have this one. This was the first ever Camilla de Arico page I coloured, I think. This one. So yeah, I like how she turned out. Um, I think I went a bit over the top with the white posca in her hair, but. Yeah, even though I still love my white highlights, I kind of, you know, I'm not so uh, gung-ho with them now. And this one, this is a whip for ages. And I got that one completed last year or the year before, maybe. So it's been a long time since I've coloured in this book. Yeah, I definitely need to... Definitely need to come back to this soon. Really lovely. I'm saying that all the time, aren't I? I need to come back to that book. Yeah, all right, Kate. <laughs> I do, I do. I genuinely mean it. It's just having having time. Um. Okay. So this is Pop Manga Mermaids and Other Sea Creatures, again by Camilla de Arico. Gorgeous, gorgeous book really really pretty i really like her style it's so unique and unlike anything i've i've seen you know her work is very easily identifiable 
and to me that's the sign of you know a great artist you can just look at a page and be like yeah that was uh camilla de Arico, you know or jasmine beckett griffith you know hannah carlson whoever this one so this was just um a water-based marker with a bit of pencil shading on top was it water-based marker yeah there is some on there i think there's some ink tents as well by the looks of it yeah there's some ink tents on there as well but um yeah i kept that one really really simple Then I have the um, Pop Manga Cute and Creepy Colouring Book. Again, this is by um, Camilla Derrica. I think this is my favourite by far of her books that I have. I love all of them, but yeah, this is definitely my favourite. I think it's, I think it just, I think it's fantastic. So, she was the first page I coloured in here and, you know, she... Honestly, guys, she did not take hardly any time at all. The um, the mummy bandages were all done with ink tents. I added a little bit of shading where sort of I thought some of the shadow areas would be. And then I coloured her face in pencils and that was it. So, yeah, really, really quick and easy. And I just, I, I love how she came out. I think she's brilliant. Really, really pleased with it. Sometimes, you know, it just goes to show, doesn't it? Sometimes you can create something really fantastic with very minimal effort and time. But yeah, I just... Look at them. Oh my gosh. So cute. This one... This was a whip for quite a long time as well, but I finally got it done and I coloured him to look like our Merlin. So, he's black but he's got sort of quite a lot of like grey on him, but a lot of the grey now has sort of turned to like a, a beigey brown colour, but he does still have sort of grey on him. And because, you know, we say he's like Magic Merlin, I put the stickles glitter gel in the colour nebula around the edges so there's that one him again this one was a really quick and easy one i used ink tents on the character um the leaves the tree a tiny little bit of pencil shading i don't even think i added shading on him i think i i did shade with the ink tents um, I think the leaves might be all pencil actually, feeling it. Yeah, the leaves were pencils. The little little green character here and the, the bark of the tree. That was ink tense. The background was distress ink and then I went in with a Pentel hybrid for the little confetti things. So yeah, this was a quick and easy one again. Love the colour of him. <laughs> that gorgeous sort of lime lime peel and chartreuse colours gorgeous so that is cute and creepy then we have ticket to dreams by carolina kubakowska oh this is the only book of hers that i have managed to get my hands on the first one which i think is on the other side of sleep or on the other side of dreams something like that um i've not been able to get and the books, I think it's her um, Imaginary Friends, and I think there's one or two others. Um, she now doesn't ship to the UK, so it's it's fine, it's fine. Um, but I was so thrilled to get this one a few years ago. So the fact that I have one of her books in my collection, I'm really thankful for. But if ever there was a way for me to get the um, the others, then I would absolutely jump at the chance. So this was the first one because I really wasn't sure how I was going to approach this book. Um, it's it's just incredible. It's printed on a cardstock. 
um, and you can throw watercolours and all sorts at it and it will just handle it. It's it's amazing. So this was ink tense with some gel pen. Um, I haven't done loads in here. This was a buddy colour with the gorgeous Debbie from Colour Me Stress Free. And so yeah, I've I was told um by quite a few people that you know ink tents work really well in here. And oh my goodness, don't they? They are fantastic. The ink tents just they're incredible on this paper. And this was a whip for the longest time, and then when I completed it, I decided to pull out my um De La Rowney acrylic ink um because it's a supply that I have and I don't use it. Um, and I just flicked it all over the page. I made a real mess, but I had so much fun. And um, yeah, I really like how that turned out. I can't flip the pages how I would with the other books because the paper is so thick. Um, completed this one. Again, this was um, ink tents. There's some gold pen on there, some stickles, some this glossy accents I think so yeah there's some sparkle and stuff on there really really pretty that one it's yeah it's hard for me to sort of try and flip the book like that because the page is just it's so thick I think that's it yeah so that's um ticket to dreams by carolina kubikowska and then we move on to my clara markova books um i have tenderful enchantments i did have magical delights as well but that is another book that was ruined by the cats um So which one did I say this was? Tenderful Enchantments. There we go. So we've got this one. This was a whip for the longest time as well. And I think I completed this one last year. Finally got it finished. So there's that one. I think these books would have some really cute um, sort of like Eastery pages in. Okay, this one. I started this on a live stream forever ago and I just never came back to it. So, there's that one. Yeah, so that's Tenderful Enchantments. Next, I have Fairy Miracles, again by Clara Markova, and this was a gift from my gorgeous friend Debbie. I don't think I coloured. No. So there's this one. This was a whip for ages as well. This one. This is a whip. It was a buddy colour with Samantha Oswald. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, I just, I was liking how it was turning out and then for some reason, goodness knows why, I put the book away and just haven't come back to it. I'm so sorry, Samantha. Yeah, so, oh. Look like there is another one then. Okay, so that's fairy miracles. Then I have a fairy celebrations. Um, I've not been able to get the um, the fairy postcards or um, a touch of magic by Clara Markova because she is another seller on Etsy who is now not shipping to the UK and I think it's because we've left the EU so yeah it's uh 
it's stopped me being able to get you know some books that I would just absolutely adore to have in my collection I've coloured a few in here but I think I have more whips than what I have completed this was a buddy colour for the longest time with my best friend Tess so there's that one and I put the little you know the little lid on there so that was one of the things you sort of cut out the back of the book and it shows you which page it goes on this one this is a whip this one love how this turned out this was my first completed page in this book and even now I'm really really proud of that one um, this one this was a work in progress again for over a year I think um, and I just kept this one really really simple I just I don't know for some reason I was like I, I don't want to shade her tail I don't yeah I didn't want to do much to be honest with that one so I just kept it really simple forever whip forever whip um, this has had so much work done on it and I can't even tell you how long has been spent on this page so far um, I tried fixing the background a few times and each time I was so unhappy with it so I ended up going in with a navy blue marker um, and I'm not sure how I'm going to go about colouring these mushrooms and this leaf behind this bag because I do want the bag to look see-through I'm just not sure how to approach that and then I just need to shade the flowers and the grass and the mushrooms and stuff but yeah these mushrooms here are done apart from that one the stalks need some shading but um, yeah the character is finished and that one did take quite a bit of time as well because I was trying really really hard with my blending so there's that one whipping the whips 2021 I thought I started that one even before then but obviously not whoops that's a whip I need to come back to and this one is completed nameplate page so that that is the books from that cube and then what I'm going to do now is grab my Maria Trolley books um, and I will show those in this video as well like I mentioned at the beginning I think um, and yeah like I said as well the um, the Hannah Carlson books they're in the cubby with my Maria Trolley books but I've filmed a video really recently showing those with all my completed pages so I'm going to leave the Hannah Carlson books out of this video but please know that they are in my collection so I'm just going to put these back in their cubby and grab my Maria Trolley books and I'll be right back okay so we're going to do the Maria Trolley books and then we will call this done um, for part three so this is Dream Reese like I said by Maria Trolley um, I haven't coloured many in here done a few but not not too many the first page I colored was with my gorgeous friend Paula um, let me see love this the paper is gorgeous and um, the images are single-sided for the most part as well there's a couple that are double-sided um, but yeah for the most part they are single-sided which is great this one so like I said this was a buddy colour with my beautiful friend Paula um, and I believe I used Prisma colours on this one um, I think this was when she had gifted me the 72 set of Prisma colours if I remember rightly so there's that one this was super simple water based markers um little bit of pencil and that's it 
so this is a whip love this double page spread um, but I do want to go in with my ink tents for the the foxes um, and the you know the grass and stuff so this is very much going to be a mixed media page um, this one this was done with my Albrecht Dura watercolor pencils um, some fine liners and white either jelly roll or posca so come on this one this was a base of alcohol markers i think yeah yeah alcohol markers with some shading over the top so that is dream race Next is Twilight Garden by Maria Trolley. I think I've only got the whip in here. Yeah, I haven't. Luckily, I've written down like the colours and stuff. Thank goodness. But, um, yeah this double page spread is a is a forever whip i do come back sort of now and then and work a tiny little bit on it and then put it back away but um yeah it would be nice actually to finally have this one crossed off of my list of whips so yeah hopefully i'll get back and get this one done we have night four absolutely gorgeous gorgeous book they're they're all beautiful and i i'm ashamed to say that i don't show them you know enough love they're gorgeous books they really are this one again this was just water-based markers tiny tiny amount of pencil and a little bit of gel pen so there's that one this one this one took a while all the the hair going into the water that was all done with fine liner and some glitter gel pen put washi tape around the, the edge this one again um water-based marker Pencil and Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic. So there's that one. That's gorgeous. Okay, so that is night four. Next I have Botanicum, love this book, absolutely love it, the page is stunning. The paper in this is incredible as well, in this um, this version. Um, this is the... Swedish version I think, this one. Lucy, um, Lucy just adds colour, coloured this one, um, December, November, December, just gone, 2021, she coloured this, and oh my gosh, the labour of love that she must have fit into that page to sort of black out all in between, the foliage, must have taken her an age, but her page turned out so amazing, really, really beautiful. I was just like, oh my gosh, wow. I want a colour like that when I grow up. <laughs> she was just, oh, fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. I know I've got a whip in here. Yeah, this one. 
So this was a buddy colour with my best friend Tess. I was using Prisma colours and then I put them away and I didn't make a note of the colours I was using. Ah. So yeah, I, I don't know, I somehow need to try and get those pencils out and figure it out, figure out what colours I was using. Because I just wanted to do blue flowers for like something different and then maybe like a pink or orange background. Just something, you know, I, 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 bleh, oh my goodness, get my words out. Um, put the colours on the page in a way that I wouldn't normally do, if that makes sense. Peacock. A lot of this was water-based markers and then I've shaded with pencils and gone in with gel pen. This one, this was the first page I coloured in here. Um, a lot of this was ink tense with a little bit of pencil on top and some gel pen. I love how the water and the flowers sparkle when I when I move the book. I really like that. And then a nameplate page. So there's that one. So that is a botanicum. Whoops. We have flora. Um I've got um two pages in here. I'm doing them as like a double page spread. Um, and they are whips at the moment and that's all I have in here that I've coloured. Like I said, I've got these gorgeous books and I haven't shown them enough, enough love. Like I mentioned earlier, it's like so many books but just, you know, not enough time to colour in everything. So yeah, these I've been working on really, really slowly and steadily. So um, I was actually working on this the other night. So the only thing I need to do now is shade the bird, colour the nest, do the bumblebee's wings, um, the wings up here on the ladybird and the wings on the fairy and the centres of the flowers just need some like gel pen or stickles detail on them so yeah that's the double page spread that I've been working on in here so yeah gorgeous gorgeous book absolutely beautiful it doesn't bother me that you know the pages wrinkle I love that sound <laughs> just makes me so happy and yeah I think you know it'd be easy enough to colour on the reverse like I said it doesn't bother me too much cute so that is flora and last but not least I have luna um this is stunning i think uh i think this is my favorite book so far it's beautiful they're all gorgeous but i don't know this one just this one and flora they they just speak to me this one especially and just i don't know it's just something about it i love it i love this I have to colour that one. I'm going to keep my hand on that page because I think I'm going to flag it in a minute actually. There's a page to colour. I don't normally do that, you know? Sort of go like go ahead and sort of flag pages that I want to colour early. Um, but yeah, that one is kind of speaking to me. So this is what I've coloured in here. This was the first page I done, and it was this double page spread, and I love how it turned out. So proud of this one. Yeah, really, really like how that turned out. There's that one. Gorgeous. 
gorgeous so there you go my lovelies that was part three of my entire coloring book collection including my completed pages. so if there's any books you have seen that you would like a full flip through of please let me know down below in the comments um, and if it is not in my flip through playlist then i will make a note and get that video recorded for you as soon as i can so thank you for joining take care stay safe have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one lots of love bye